At least they didn't kick me out of the camp with just my pistol. Let's see what this thing can do. Good here. Sight for sore eyes. Let's get you back on your feet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Testing one, two, three, radio check. Cronus, it's Jim. You read me? Jim Payton here, back from the dead. You copy? Yeah, I must be out of range. Jim, you got your rig working. Oh, hi, you, uh, have a radio. Uh, yeah, yeah, she'll pull through fine. Good, you will need it for this task. There is a health crisis among my people. We have had a breakout of Watling's disease in the camp. Even our healing techniques are ineffective against it. I remember getting vaccinated for that before I left Earth. They've had that cured for years. Only if you have access to such medicine. We did find a misplaced medical supply drop in Pickett's Folly, but it is inaccessible to us. If you could unseal that pod, it would truly save lives. You will need your rig's winch to access the area. What makes you so sure I'll even help you? I have watched. I have listened. Jim Payton is a man who pays a life debt. You saved your comrade, the Frenchman, the day you arrived. Maybe not my finest decision. Beyond that, we have what you need. Your people seek to harness this planet's energy as we have done. I hope that we can help you in due time, but first there is much that must be...
be the medicine. Hope it's still good. <clears throat> Looks like we're good here. You did it! We will get this to our doctors right away. In the meantime, my father wishes to see you. Follow me. So this is why you were following me? Why you saved my life? You had errands only my rig could run? I watched you because I learned from what I see. I saved you so that you would not die. Great. You've got the saying nothing thing down pat, you know that? Listen, princess. Wait, are you really a princess? Is your father the king? We have no kings. He leads only in that he leads. Down pat. I mean... It is he who led the Forgotten to safety, taught us to survive. He calmed the Great Frenzy and learned how to harvest this planet's nectar without causing another. Yeah, again with the nectar. That's a ridiculous word, by the way. It is apt. I'm sorry if it troubles you. Now I'll get over it. The Forgotten is nice, though. Oh, what's up? A breach. Were you followed? Followed by who? We need assistance! This way! Go on ahead of me. I will provide support from the parapets. Go! I 
need to close the gate behind you. Go, before people are hurt. Come, Jim. My father awaits. A man of honor. And a Nevik uniform. A true paradox. You hate them like you know them well. You were Nevik too, once. Long ago, I was. We came here from Earth, as you did. Come to tame the wilds, rendering fire from ice. We were unprepared. Look, Chief, I don't claim to know what you've been through, but I know the odds you're up against. You're not wrong that we're here for a reason, but it's not to bring you harm, I swear. Let me help. Let me talk to my boss, Braddock. Silence! hand extends. They beckon. Come in from the cold. Long have we waited. When they fled to ships and flew away, I was certain they would return. If we could just last a week, surely they would come back for us. Persevere for a month. No doubt our rescue would if only we could survive a year, or five, or ten, or thirty-six! For two generations, we survived without their compassion. Invisible, cheating death. And finally, you would lead them to our door. Assurances 
of safety. <laughs> Trust. Men such as you had better know the nature of the beast you serve. Do not be discouraged, Jim. It is much to ask of him, and we have only just begun our work. Please, enjoy the hospitality of our camp, such as it is. You may find some things you need, and it is good for our people to see you are a friend. When you are ready, meet me outside the camp gates. <laughs>